Samuel Eto was only elected. It is not a lifetime thing. So after this election, after his term in service, what happened to the next person that will be the president of Eka Food? Will this president continue with all these things? All this is new. Melogis Melogis TV. TV. Information, entertainment, analysis, and gossips. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melogis TV. And on this video, we are going to be talking about spots. Yes, no other person. You guys know that Samuel Eto. Our one and only president for Feka Foods. Yes. Samuel Eto has actually increased the salaries of players and also affiliated them into CNPS. Yes, for people who don't understand that CNPS and have long French team, I just say na insurance, at least these players and now they will be able for earn pension money when they retire from playing football. So now they go down and some of the things that always Samuel Eto don't do. And he do this mostly first. He don't start now with the female national team. He don't put them now on salaries. Say all female players and now that's all our national team players that went at the female section or yes, they go to the end 100,000 francs every month. That 100,000 francs has nothing to do with whatever prime they are going to be collecting during their games or it has nothing to do with what whatever thing they are doing like if they are in their various clubs that one is a steady income that they are going to be any in case there are games or what or what they have that 100,000 still stands and then he went further again to add 50,000 extra from his own pocket so right now they will be ending a hundred and fifty thousand francs. Fifty thousand francs is coming from him, Samuel Eto, as the president of Feka Food. It has nothing to do with the government. It's his personal money, which is good. We applaud him from that for that. Now he is like he didn't come to Feka Food for the money, but he is in Feka Food because he wants to set the pace. He wants to make a change. He wants to make us see some difference. He wants to bring, I mean, he wants these players to benefit. He wants us to look at football like the goal, like how America, Europe, and other Western worlds are looking at their footballers. Look at the take of all the ex-footballers. Most of them fall sick after retirement. They come online begging for money, begging for help because they don't collect salaries or they were not collecting salaries or they were not registered for this social or oh, social insurance where they are collecting their payments. Now, these ones will be collecting retirement benefits because they have been registered, they have been affiliated to CNPS. Tell me if this is not good. It is good. The person of Ekafusa has also instructed each clubs to make sure their players are all affiliated to CNPS. This is a good step. These are some of the things we want to hear, want to see. At least he is actually setting the pace. You know what it means say you don't play football for how many years? Finish, make big name. Look at the take of the other ex football away. Someone to go take it for Hasten, I go put it for hospital. We don't be sick for long, we get accident. Look what they take for the other referee to the same situation. If these people, after retirement, they get something where it pass for their pocket to the receiver, and hey, hey, they feel be fine, they feel take it for them because some of them live extravagant life. Where at the end of the day, that money, not even they, you see that they collect all the millions from their clubs and so. At the end of the day, one go ask and say, that boy, you know, they, they live extraordinary life. Yes, very expensive lifestyle. And for maintaining that lifestyle, it's not easy. They are superstars. So at the end of the day, most of them, when they don't stop for play football, when they don't retire, they don't hang boot, you see them suffering around. You see that time, it's a struggle with nothing, and they want to find some more, more real estate them. Whereas this, at the peak of their careers, they did not invest. So I think say, it of is the one travel maker. I mean, they see reason why they feel invest safe and prepare for their retirement. Because if ye not be invest in yourself, try for say, say no, he be family man, he get picking, he get woman, he get things them, he get people they look up to you, he don't turn for back to it look the national team where come on they it look they pay you see the way they take a match players they say no after all this my years well, i don't work as safe 
Ma, come back. Let me give it back to my people. He not come for the for the for take that president of Ekafuna because he won't can enrich himself. He won't can use them for set a pace. And now so many people are worried about this because now Samuel Eto was only elected. It is not a lifetime thing. So after this election, after his term in service, what happened to the next person that will be the president of Faker Food? Will this president continue with all these things, all these new innovations? Will that president continue, will that new president continue to pay these players, this same 50, 50,000, additional 50,000? Or will that president also come and stop the salary of these um, players? Because we know the payee we are coming from is very obvious. Yes, it's very obvious. Somebody else can come in. That's the worries of the people. People are like, yes, Samuel, this is your personal money you're investing. But what happened in case you are not re-elected as the president of Fika Food? So the new person that comes in and that person is not as rich as you, will this person continue giving these people 50, 50,000? And another argument was there that people were like, no, he is just trying to set the pace. Maybe after doing this, the government can see into it and continue you're functioning it maybe the next person can come in and then request for the government that no we cannot stop this at least it was a good initiative and now other persons are like we are glad he starts he he, he begins with the female national team we are hoping he will move further to do the same for the male national team because we want them all to be fine. So if in case he can extend his hand of generosity to the male national team, we will all be happy. It's a good thing. But at the end of the day, what happened if Samuel Eto will not still be on seat? I'm not making this video like to say what he is doing is not is wrong. It is actually right. And we have to look things on two fronts. Because he is doing this because he has the money to give them. What if the next person is not having this money? What will happen to the players? Will they now start um, only hoping on whatever they earn from their clubs? Will the government continue paying them these hundred thousands? Or does it come out? Or is Samuel Eto's telling us that the government has already confirmed this? Anyway, you guys know Melodies Halley knows too much. The comment section is your friend. What is your thought about this? Is it are we worried of the fact that if Samuel Eto is not re-elected, or we should not worry about tomorrow? We should just focus for today and then tomorrow will take care of itself. Or would we wait when that new person guy was stop and just can up for me and I will just start jerky? How on a siam? It makes sense now. Put your thoughts in the comment section. I remain your girl, Melodies TV, the only mellow with the G's. Yes, you know I'm your girl. Hope to see you all again on my next upload. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much. And if you are new here, I want to say you are welcome. Look around, maybe you like what I'm doing here. And if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to hit on that subscription button and turn on my post notification for new uploads. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up at the end. And I hope to see you all again on my next upload. Bye-bye.